Oh, my dear, you are a delicate, lovely creature. Tell me, does it bother you that I may be a few years your senior? Oh, no, sir, not really. In fact, you remind me so much of my dear and recently departed father. Oh, your father, yes. Well, was he a handsome figure of a man, dashing, oh, attractive? Oh, yes, sir, till the scourge brought about his untimely end. Oh, come here, my dear. What a horrible death. A little closer. I can see him now, writhing on the floor in agony, like so many of his brothers and cousins and uncles and aunts. Yes. Would you grant the king a little kiss? Oh, certainly, sire, and don't worry. They say it isn't catching. Oh, yes. You are a little... catching. Just because it runs in the family doesn't mean that everyone has it. Kiss me, sir. Has it? Has what? Don't I please you, sir? Oh, yes, yes, but uh, these are brothers and cousins and uncles. And aunts, let us not talk about their swollen, twisted, pain-ridden bodies. Hold me, take me in your arms. <laughs> Tell me I'm yours. But this, uh, this writhing on the floor. In agony. Yes, well, what's, well, how does one catch this thing? Oh, the touch of a hand, the brush of a lip, but let us not spoil this moment, sire. Hold me, hold me close. Well, what's this monstrous thing called? Breckenridge's scourge. <laughs> Who's Breckenridge? My father. Just excuse me, dear. I'm feeling, feeling rather poorly. Sire, the ceremony is ready. Oh, very well. well I, I must go now, my dear. And so must you. So must you. <laughs> Quickly. Dear, don't touch anything. 